Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. In today's video I'm doing another Tour Tries episode where I show you a pattern that I've done and just talk about it and um, show you what I've made. So the day that I'm filming this is uh, Monday the 19th of September so it's actually the Queen's funeral today. So what I'm showing you is um, something that I've crocheted that's kind of related to this. So what I've made is the Queen's Corgi so I'll show you this quickly now. So it's quite a big piece actually, as you can see, comparing it oh, to the size of my head, that's what it looks like. And yeah, so basically the, the sort of story behind this pattern is uh, back when it was the Platinum Jubilee earlier in the year, there was this pattern, it was in Yours magazine and my parents actually um, buy Yours magazine and they noticed this pattern and they gave it to me and I was going to crochet this in time for the Platinum Jubilee but I ended up not having time to do it basically. Um, so I kind of just filed the pattern away and forgot about it and then um, just this weekend I remembered that I actually had saved this pattern and I was like actually this would be a really nice little sort of tribute thing to make um, for the Queen's funeral so I thought I'd make that this weekend um, and yeah so the pattern is by um, Beardy and Blondie Crafts and I'll go through more information about the pattern now. So as I mentioned previously um, I found this pattern in Yours magazine but I was looking online after I'd done it just to see if it's available for you guys online at all and actually it's on the Hobbycraft website for free so I'll link that down below and that's really handy um, so yeah you can access it online for completely free. Um, and in terms of the difficulty on Hobbycraft, they give it a two out of three rating, so kind of intermediate. And I would agree with that. I'd say the crochet itself is probably intermediate. And then in terms of the sewing everything together and things like that, yeah, probably intermediate to advanced, I'd say. So I think they're right on the difficulty level of this. Um, and in terms of the stitches used, so bear in mind that this is a UK pattern, so UK terminology is used in this. I know I usually use US terminology just because I prefer it and it makes sense with my brain and that's how I learnt crochet, but this pattern is written in UK terminology, so most of it is double crochets, which is single crochets in American terminology. Um, and then there's a couple of uh, different kind of stitches that are used in this. So there's popcorn stitch um, and then there's also pico stitches. And both of those are explained in the pattern if you haven't used them before. But um, they were both uh, stitches that I was familiar with. So I didn't find uh, any new or difficult stitches in this pattern. So in terms of the uh, creators of this pattern, that's... Um, Beardy and Blondie and when I looked them up it sounds like they're actually a couple so they're called Jordan and Mike so I don't know whether they both collaborate on their patterns or if one of them wrote it I'm not entirely sure but I thought that was quite sweet that they um had their own little crochet business um so they've got their own website and they're on Instagram and Ravelry as well and it was quite interesting reading their little story on their website it actually kind of reminded me of um me and my boyfriend because they were mentioning how they like playing games together and they like playing board games and stuff like that and I was thinking yeah that's quite similar to us so um maybe I should get Jamie into learning how to crochet as well and we can create our own little crochet business but yeah I thought that was quite sweet reading about that um and it seems like they have quite a lot of patterns but most of them do seem to be published in actual physical publications so crochet magazines and things like that but you can see a kind of library on their Ravelry but I'm not 100% sure if it actually has everything on their Ravelry because I don't think I could find this particular pattern on their Ravelry so it seems like there isn't necessarily one place you can go to to find absolutely all of their patterns um, but yeah it didn't look like they had any other free patterns or they weren't easily available from what I could see. They have a few patterns on their website but they do all um, cost money but they're quite cheap I think they're about a pound so not very expensive. Um, all of their patterns are in English and as I mentioned, they are on Instagram as well, but they haven't posted since 2020. So I'm not sure if they are currently putting the sort of crochet business on hold at the moment or something. Um, but this seems to be a bit of a pattern that I've noticed in my last couple of tour tries videos. It seems like um, people haven't been posting on their Instagram. So I don't know, maybe people just aren't using Instagram anymore. But um, yeah, that's what I found when I was looking up information about the um, pattern creator. 
So I already showed you a view of what I made at the beginning, but I'll show you again. So this is the Queen's Corgi. I think it's so cute. I really like how this turned out, actually. Um, and as usual, if you know me, you know that I pretty much always ignore the yarn weight and crochet hook size recommendations in the pattern. So I used my Aran weight yarn and my four millimeter crochet hook, and this is how it turned out. I think they um, recommended DK and 3.5, so actually not much of a difference. Um, but I just, I like how this turned out. It probably turned out a little bit bigger than it would do if you used um, their recommendations in the pattern. Um, and it took me about 10 hours to make this. So I started it like midday yesterday um, and I only just finished it this morning. So, um, and I've been working on it most of that time um, while watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. So yeah, it did take me quite a long time to make this, but like I say, I think it was really worth it because I really like how it turned out. Um, and I found in terms of the pattern itself, the crochet instructions were really easy to follow. I didn't have any problems with that at all. Um, and I found that like, I really enjoyed making these little details. I think it really adds to it, like the little cross on the crown and um, just all the different elements of the crown. I thought that was quite nicely done. And then I really like the cape as well and the little popcorn stitches at the bottom. I really like how that turned out as well. Um, so yeah, I found the pattern really easy to follow and the only one thing I would say about the pattern is just I wish they would have maybe given a bit more of an explanation when it came to sewing things together, like the best way to sew things together. Um, and then also maybe a bit of explanation in terms of like where exactly to place the eyes and where to place the eyebrows and things like that. Obviously, I could work it out fairly easily just by looking at the photos and trying to just figure it out myself. But I think people that are less experienced in crochet would maybe need a bit more instruction on those areas. Um, but that was my only criticism. I, I thought it was a really good pattern. Obviously, it's free, so you can't really complain too much when a pattern is free. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything for this video. So I'm sorry that I'm releasing this today. I guess it's a little bit late if you wanted to crochet something um, in time for today, but maybe you want to have a go at doing this today. Or I think it's a really cute pattern regardless. Like you don't have to do the crown and you don't have to make it um, royal related. You could just literally make the corgi um, and it's really cute. And you could do your own sort of colour for the cape maybe and just make it your own so I think it's a really nice base pattern for you to build on um if you if you just want like a cute corgi dog pattern um but yeah that's all for this video so I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video bye guys